Hello guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to manage the dual SIM cards inside your Galaxy S22 Ultra. You can also do this if you have a standard dual SIM S22 or S22 Plus. Now, of course, the first step is to insert the SIM cards, which I've done and explained in another video, which I'll link down below. But once the SIM cards are inside the phone, you can simply go to settings. Under settings, go to connections. And then under connections, go to SIM card manager. And this is where you can manage your SIM cards. Now, for starters, you can decide to turn off one of the SIM cards or both. So, for instance, if you want to turn off SIM 1, maybe it's your work SIM card and it's the weekend and you don't want to be bothered, you can turn that off and confirm. And that will completely turn off one of the SIM cards. So, no calls, no messaging, no data through that particular SIM card. And you can turn it back on when you want to. And you can do the same even for SIM 2. And turn it back on. Now this next section is for eSIM. You can add a mobile plan for an eSIM by simply tapping there and then going ahead to set up your eSIM. Usually you can go to your carrier for this or they can give you a QR code that you can scan and it's gonna help you with the setup process. Now, this next section is where you choose the preferred SIM card for specific actions. So first up is calls. So here you can choose with which SIM card you want to make calls by default. So you can choose SIM 1 or SIM 2, or maybe you can even set it to always ask. So every time you hit the call button, it's going to ask you with which SIM card you want to call. And you can make that choice every time you want to make a call. It's up to you. Personally, I prefer to leave it as ask always. Second option is messages and here you can choose which is the default SIM card you send messages with. The third one is mobile data and this basically goes without saying it's the SIM card that you're going to use for mobile data. Now this next section lets you enable or disable auto data switching. Now when you turn this on basically what that means is you can use the default SIM card for mobile data which is the SIM card you chose here but in case that SIM card goes into a place with no coverage and for some reason it cannot access mobile data, it's going to automatically switch to the next SIM card or to the other SIM card and continue with the mobile data. Now, if you don't want your phone switching between the SIM cards for mobile data, you can leave that turned off and set your default SIM card for mobile data. Now, if you go to more SIM card settings, you can tap on this to add the phone numbers of the specific SIM cards. Now, personally, I don't recommend that. I wouldn't do it if I was you. Now, going back to the SIM card manager page, you can rename your SIM cards to names you prefer. So as you can see, the default names for the SIM cards is SIM1 and SIM2. Now, if you want to rename your SIM cards, simply tap on that and then go ahead and delete the default name and then add the name you want. And then tap on done. And now, as you can see, the SIM card has been renamed. You can go ahead and do that for the other SIM card. You can also change the icon of the SIM cards. So I'm going to go to SIM2, tap on that, and then change the icon to maybe home if SIM1 is your home SIM card, and then tap on back, and now you can see the icon has changed. And that's basically how to manage the dual SIM cards in your Galaxy S22 Ultra. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, take care and good luck.